The next three slides contain three special cases of the gamma distribution and these special cases arise in probability and statistical applications in many different settings. The first special case of the gamma distribution is when kappa is equal to 1. When the shape parameter is equal to 1, the gamma distribution collapses to the exponential distribution and the probability density function becomes just lambda e to the minus lambda x. The mean is 1 over lambda, the variance is 1 over lambda squared, the skewness is 2, and the kurtosis is 9. Couple notes on the exponential. There are r function, there are three or four r functions associated with the exponential distribution. The first is dx, and that will return little f of x. That's better, I think. The second function that is out there is known as px. And whereas dx gives you little f of x, px gives you capital F of x. Then there is qx, and that gives you f inverse of u. And finally, there is rx, which will throw exponential random variates. In Apple, there is a function known as exponential RV lambda. And if you use the PDF function, you can get values of f of x. If you use the CDF function, you can get values of capital F of x. And if you use the IDF function, you can get values of f inverse of u. The exponential distribution is the only continuous distribution that has the memoryless property. And as alluded to in the truck example, the minimum of mutually independent exponential random variables is also exponential. And that's, that will be something that will be proved in the next chapter. So that's the first special case, which is the exponential distribution. The second special case is known as the Erlang distribution. You have an Erlang distribution when the parameter kappa assumes a positive integer value k. And in that case, the probability density function looks like this. The mean is k, k over lambda. The variance is k over lambda squared. The skewness is 2 over the square root of k. And the kurtosis is 3 times k plus 2 divided by k. Couple notes. Even though the gamma distribution does not have a closed form cumulative distribution function. The CDF of an Erlang lambda k random variable can be written as a summation. So it is slightly better than the general gamma distribution. And another result is if x1 up to xk are iid, and that stands for independent and identically distributed exponential lambda random variables, then the sum of k of those random variables has the Erlang distribution with parameters lambda and k. So the first special case was the exponential. The second special case is the Erlang. And now the third, expon or the third special case is known as the chi-squared distribution. When the shape parameter kappa is equal to k over 2, where k is a parameter that is known as the degrees of freedom. And furthermore, when the lambda is equal to 1 half, you get the following distribution. Notice this is only a one parameter distribution. It's only k, which appears here, here, and there. In this case, the expected value of x is the number of degrees of freedom. The variance of x is twice the number of degrees of freedom. The population skewness is 2 square root of 2 over the square root of k. And finally, the kurtosis is 3 times k plus 4 divided by k. The shorthand for the chi-square distribution is x is distributed as a chi-squared random variable with r degrees of freedom. We could have used um, k here instead of r, probably should have. And the r functions to uh, calculate various quantities are d chi-squared, p chi-squared, q chi-squared, and r chi-squared. The apple function is chi-squared.
RV.